Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to convert uh, Python Pygame file into an APK. So this video is very important uh, for um, people who are using uh, uh, Pygame and want to develop game for Android. So let's start. This is simple uh, Python Pygame file or simple application. Just I'm running this. Okay, first of all, this is my project folder, and this is this image is uh, image.png. This is my file. Now I am opening terminal here. So this simple hello world example which is showing a Pygame image. Uh, so I want to convert this uh, file into a APK. For this you, you need uh, Buildozer. Uh, so Buildozer um, is a program by which you can convert Python file into a APK. And uh, if you don't know what is Buildozer and how to install it in your PC, especially for Linux, then you can. Uh, I, I I already have uploaded that video uh, about Buildozer, so you can watch that video. Now, <coughs> first of all, you need uh, Buildozer. Uh, Okay, uh, so first of all, you have to uh, create a buildozer dot spec file. So for this, just enter buildozer init. Buildozer init will create a buildozer buildozer dot spec file. So see here, it's showing some error because I I already have this file, so that's why it is showing this error. Now edit this buildozer dot spec file with any text editor now first of all enter the uh, title of your application package name I am using p game this is my package name and uh, package domain dot org dot test ok now uh, just write all the extension which you you are using with your um, pygame application ok I am using .png file and po.pi file, so that's why I'm I have entered this. Now, very important thing: see the requirements. You have to enter the all these requirements. Just enter these all these requirements. Okay. <coughs> Orientation. Uh, you can launch your Pygame application with uh, portrait mode or landscape mode or sensor landscape mode. Uh, it is your choice, but I am use I am just launching my application in portrait mode. Okay, now full screen equal to zero. So it is uh, not full screen. Uh, to do full screen, just clear and enter one. I am just entering zero now. Uh, Android permission. If you, if your application need any permission, then you can uh, write here. Uh, just uncomment and write all the permissions of Android. Uh, read the documentation of the Android permission. Uh, just open to Android uh, website and just read all these permissions if your application need. But otherwise, you can skip. Okay. Now this is API version. Uh, for newer version of uh, application or uh, Android application, you have to enter this 30. Okay, but I am just uh <coughs> so I am just not changing anything because it is uh, something in by default. Okay, now just scroll down and here. Uh, Android architecture. 
ARM64 V uh, V8A. This is 60. I am just uh, converting this application for 64-bit Android version. Um, and uh, uh, one thing I want to tell you, uh, this um, I have tested this application into uh, Android 64-bit version, but. Uh, when I am just uh, loading or running this application in lower version of Android, it's just crash crashing. I I don't know why this is uh, this is uh, problem or why this problem is. And uh, uh, you can check or um, you can comment below uh, if you are face, uh, facing this problem or not. Just write this Android which Android uh, just 32 bit version and uh, write this or uh, you can <coughs> if you are want to on 64 V8 if you want to if you want to con uh, build APK for uh, newer version only then you can just ARM 64 V8A uh, write ARM 64 V8A okay or you can choose any x86 x, 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 x uh, 64 uh, version uh, for that version of android okay <coughs> uh, you can test uh, it by changing all these things and uh, you can uh, just comment uh, it is working or not in lower version of android especially 32 bit version of android okay now but okay um, by default uh, all things are okay tick so <coughs> after all these things here you have to do uh, uh, some just follow some points uh, I have defined a platform uh, function which 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 will detect the uh, platform which platform it is if just copy this code uh, which will detect the platform type or platform which platform it is and uh, <coughs> And here display surface mode you have to write this pygame dot full screen you have to launch this app in full screen mode okay you can set re resolution of your app here but you have to launch this app in full screen mode and another thing very important thing if you are loading any image or sound file or any file then just add this path for Android this path here slash data slash data slash your full package name slash file slash app as my applications packaged um, full package name is org dot test dot pgame that's why <coughs> i'm writing org dot test dot pgame just change this name uh, okay and if this platform is Linux then a path is dot slash now add this path we, uh, um, in before your file name okay otherwise uh, it will crash on your Android phone or Android tablet or Android device okay that's all uh, okay now to con convert this into apk you have to write just build user plus v android debug deploy run before that just connect your phone in uh, with your pc by usb cable and and uh, mm, enable Android debug mode into a in your phone 
and just enter first time it will take 15 minutes or 20 minutes depending on your internet speed and uh, um, processor speed I, al I have already done this After all this, uh, all the process, you can collect your Pygame, Python Pygame APK from here, from Brain Directory. Or, okay, uh, one second. Oh, I have write deploy run. So, otherwise, uh, okay. So, oh, just complete it. So you can collect from here or uh, if you have connected your phone in uh, phone with your PC just uh, this um, uh, bulldozer deploy bulldozer will uh, push the APK into your phone that's all so thus you can convert uh, a Pygame file uh, into Pygame Python file into APK and that's all uh, so if you like this video uh, sorry if you enjoyed this video just like share and subscribe my channel and uh, see you in next video thanks for watching